Yeah, okay. So let me switch back to the screen. There it is. And I'm recording now. All right, let me show you here uh, what I need to do with this. All right. All right, so check this out. Use that. Okay, so I'm going to check on the first one I said and find out exactly if this one connects. So before I do anything, I will troubleshoot if they tell me they cannot connect. So I'm going to check for connection. And before I, I run the IP config, I'm going to I'm gonna make sure that it connects to the the um, to the website again. Host name and result. This one doesn't connect. So PC1 doesn't work. I'm going to minimize that. I'm going to go to PC2. Try this one. And that's how I'm trouble. That's how I would troubleshoot for real, to be honest with you. The way I'm doing it here. Okay, this one, go, go. It doesn't go. I mean, this one doesn't connect either. So we got PC1 and PC2 do not connect. Check PC3 now. But notice how I'm going through the troubleshooting process of checking each one and see that they can connect. So I'm checking for connectivity first. Before I check the IP addresses and all that information. Go, go. Okay, this one works. Look at you see that this one worked. All right, so PC3, it has no issues. I'm gonna minimize it and I'm gonna go to PC4. All right, so PC1 and 2 are the ones that are giving me a problem. Now let me check this one to see if this one gives me the same problem. And I copy and paste it, so that's why I'm just, okay, this one works too. All right, so then I got it, look at it. What I will have to check now is to see the IP addresses on this one in comparing with the other ones. But they want us to use the IP config, so it's okay, I'll use the IP config. I'm gonna go to command prompt and type the IP config. Not a problem. IP config, and then I have a space, and then they wanted me to do the all. There it is, let me expand this and, and just check to see what the IP address is. Look at the IP address, this is the four. For the PC4 is um, 192.168.1 and then 104. So if they started at 100, because this is the PC4, they put 104. I can guarantee the PC3 is gonna be 103. Remember I was saying you can go 10, you can go one, two, and so on. Look at the, the uh, subnet mask is 255, 255, 255, and zero. The default gateway is 192.168.11, and the DNS server is 192, 15, two, and five. Okay, this is all the information that I need. And I should, you know what, take a snapshot of this and, uh, and uh, upload it along with the assignment. So let me do that really quick here. So let me uh, just copy this IP address, so PC4. So I have that information there. Now it'll be easy for me to, uh, to compare it, okay? So what I'm doing here right now is comparing the information to see which of this, this um, minimize this. Is the one giving me the error, so. All right, so that was PC. Um, minimize this. That was PC4. So now let me go to PC, the ones that I cannot connect. Let's start with PC1. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the um, command prompt and do the IP config. This is now I'm, ver I'm verifying the IP addresses and all that. But I already checked it on one, so they should be all the same kind of thing. If something is, is is wrong, I have to correct it, it says here. So let me check this other one. Here's, hey, look at this one. I can tell that this one uh, doesn't have the uh, DNS server. You see that? So let me let me open the, what's the other one? The one I wanted to compare it to, the four. So the four I said, uh, look, I have the four, I minimize this. I have the four right here, and I have the two right next to each other. What the hell? Not the two, the one. Uh, and, and I have to click on this so you guys can see it. Let me see it. Here it is. All right, so now I, I can compare them side by side. Look at it. You notice the uh, starting with the IP address is 101 for, for the 101 for the PC1. This one is 104, so that's that's okay. It's correct. 
the same Sunday max to 55 to 55. The same the four gateway 192, 168, that 11, correct? And then the last thing is a DNS server. This one doesn't have a DNS server. Look at you see that? It's blank. That's why it cannot connect. So this one I can already correct it. How can I correct it? I'm gonna go ahead and close this. And uh, the DNS server doesn't show in the IP configuration. Look at oh yeah, right here. Here it is. So I just have to put this one 192. Dot 15.2.5. I'm gonna put the DNS server, close it, and then try it again. Let's see if it now connects. So now I'm checking P, uh, PC1. I don't have it anymore. I have to type it now. There it is. Problem solved. I fixed the first problem. So on this one, my problem was the DNS server was not correctly there. So, all right, so I fixed the first one and that should have given me some points here on this thing. No, zero points, what the hell? All right, but I fixed that. So I guess I have to fix the other one to give me the 100% points. Mister? Yeah? Can you slow down? Mm, okay, sorry. Yeah, so the on, on PC1 uh, class, what I did is I, I I realized that using the IP config showed me that I was missing the DNS server. And uh, so I went to the IP configuration and added that DNS server right here. All right. So that was the first error that I found on my troubleshooting. And what technique am I using? I, I'm using the, the trial and error because the first thing I tried, it was to check the website. But here it doesn't say to do that. It says to uh, access the command prompt and do IP config for each PC. I don't want to spend time doing that. I just want to make sure that I know where the problem is and try to fix it that way. You know what I'm saying? So instead of a, instead of a going one by one, I can just uh, basically um, just do the um, the troubleshooting the way I do it all the time. And then I'm gonna go to the PC two now. Remember the PC two. Uh, I have to do the IP config also and check to see what the error is here. So I go IP config slash all. And enter. Now I'm gonna check the uh, configuration here. Is this one everything looks good? Let me check the um. Let me check the four, because the four is the one that I have open. Here is the four. Bring it over here, minimize it. This is my four right here. Now let's go to the two and compare side by side the, uh, the results. All right, on my, on my PC two, the IP address is 192.168.10.102, and this one is one, see that? The last number, it, it, remember the last number is the ID for the PC. This one never changes. It should be 10 here too, but, uh, but 10 doesn't connect. So is the IP address a problem on this? Because the, uh, the gateway is the same gateway. The, uh, the uh, DNS server is the same DNS server. The only thing that I see that is different is the IP address. This one has 10. And it was, this one has 1.104, this is 10.102. So this should be changed to one, right? I can't change it here. So I have to close this. So this is my, this is my error right here, the IP address, All right? On the other one, on the number one was the DNS server. It didn't have one. But on number two, it's actually the, um, the IP address that is wrong, this number should be one and it's 10. So they made a mistake when they, because remember it's a static IP address, they had to type it in. All right, so I'm ready to fix the problem. I'm gonna close this, go to the IP configuration and modify it right here. All I have to do is take out the, the zero from the 10. There, that should fix it. I won't know until I test it. So I'm gonna go ahead and close it. Go to the web browser and then type the IP address, www.cisco.com. 
PKA. PKA. Okay, name and result still not working. Well, that's weird. There it is. I type it wrong. That's why I'm types it wrong. All right, so it's fixed. You see that? I was able to uh, to, co to correct them, and that should give me that 100% on the activity. So that's all it is. It's just a troubleshooting uh, activity. Not, not so much to put anything, but to find out why it's not connecting. And that's what I personally will do if I go and troubleshoot a computer, you know. And you will go, well, why do you use um, static IP addresses when you can just, uh, at home I never use static IP addresses. No, because uh, they assume you don't know how to do this. And you don't have no more than one or two devices, uh, maybe four at the most. But in a company that has, let's say, like at the district, can you imagine if it was uh, uh, dynamic IP addresses, how many IP addresses you need? Um, they do it dynamically there. I don't think they do it uh, um, static, but uh, but they do it dynamically because they have a, 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 a dynamic host uh, uh, server that does that, a DHCP. Um, here in this connection and this topography that we're seeing, we don't have that. This topology, I'm sorry, we don't have that. It's just a wireless router and it goes directly to the internet. So that should that should solve the problem that we were uh, looking for. See, that'll give you the 100%. There it is, 100%. Completion, so that, that solves the problem. All right, so knowing that, let me um, stop this thing. And then um, stop the recording.